Alright everyone, hello and welcome back to the channel. Alright, now here's a couple of videos that I put together that I think most of you, if not all of you, will find interesting. Now the video I got from my good friend Silvio, and Silvio, thank you for the video. And let me mention that uh, Silvio has his own channel called Behind the Shield. Behind the Shield. And I will put a link to his channel in the description, and um, I'm asking you guys to give him a visit and if you like his content which I think you will uh, give him your support now the video that Silvio sent me I do notice that other anti frauditing channels are playing it but only the ass end of the video which uh, shows the arrest now uh, I think the reason they're showing the ass end of the video is because that particular frauditor only uploaded the ass end of the video and uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday uh, the frauditor uh, just uploaded the entire video which shows uh, his stupidity on why he got arrested and that particular frauditor is Joey Surreal Camera aka Christian Joe Lopez now Joey is um, from Florida and I think most of us have heard that uh, there's a bill coming into the picture which uh, uh, pretty much keeps uh, people from uh, 30 feet away from the officers while they're interacting with uh, whoever they're dealing with at that moment, okay? And I think the frauditors have to kick themselves in the ass for that one because it's their fault that uh, uh, that bill pretty much came into the picture, okay? Uh, let me just say, and I've mentioned it in a few of my videos, that I honestly feel that cop watching is a good thing if done properly. In my opinion, it keeps the bad cops in check. Okay, but cop watching, my opinion now is uh, uh, you're documenting what's going on between the officer and the individual that they're dealing with. You're giving that officer the proper space that they need. Think about it. It's their ass that's on the line. If anybody's going to get hurt, it's going to be that officer first. Okay, so I honestly understand why cops sometimes they want to uh, tell people step back and uh, stay a distance. You know, they don't know uh, that individual that they're dealing with they don't know if that individual is armed and is he gonna do uh, he or she is gonna do anything harmful okay so these frauditors as we all know watching their cop watching videos uh, come on uh, the first thing they do is they want to insert themselves in the scene they want to be a part of the damn scene and that's a no-no in my book okay uh, but again I say uh, this bill coming into the picture uh, they're going to have to kick themselves in the ass. It's their fault, okay? If they would have done things properly, I don't think anybody be bitching and moaning, okay? But uh, let me show you that news clip that I came across that uh, an individual sent me a while back. And uh, uh, let's check it out about the 30-foot uh, distance that's uh, pissing, uh, <laughs> it's pissing the frauditors off. Let's check out that little news clip. Investigator Mike Magnoli is back with us this half hour with more on a proposal headed to Tallahassee that could change how we all interact with law enforcement. It is a bill that literally on the very top of the list for debate once lawmakers go back in January. It says individuals would have to back up 30 feet if, if an officer tells them they are interfering with police business. All right, let's unpack this with Mike now on its face. Doesn't seem like a big deal, Mike. We don't want to get in the way when police are doing their job. So why is this controversial? Good morning, everybody. So the controversy is in this. Talk to a civil rights attorney and he says if this becomes law the distance it requires between citizens and police will undercut one of our most fundamental checks and balances that being government answerable to the people on the other hand the lawmaker who wrote this bill tells the i team the only people who would be impacted by this are troublemakers agitators people trying to play gotcha with our first responders and generally when we think of Recordings. Recordings are helpful to show where hands are, um, who's moved, who's made a movement with their hands. And when you're 30 feet away, that can be very difficult uh, to actually record those key moments. Michael T. Davis is a lawyer, and he has some experience with police use of force cases. He most recently appeared on CBS 12 News after a client of his was hit by a rubber bullet during a Black Lives Matter protest. He says video of the incident is critically important, and he says that illegal police actions caught on video are why reform is happening at every level of the government. If Florida lawmakers pass House Bill 11, he'd call that 
a step backwards. The statute threatens criminal punishment for anyone who is brave enough to do what those people did in Minneapolis when they recorded George Floyd. Last hour, we explained the proposal, written by Representative Alex Rizzo of Hialeah. If it passes and it's signed by the governor, 30 feet becomes the law. If an officer says, you're interfering with what they're doing, you've got to move back 10 yards or face arrest. I think uh, people will see that this has uh, no implication at all about trampling on people's First Amendment rights. This is about safety. Before you had a cell phone video, the police largely operated in the shadows. What they wrote in their police reports was the gospel truth because you had their word versus the word of the person who was arrested. I just want to play devil's advocate here for a minute, though, okay, Michael, because sure. some of my viewers are going to see this interview and hear what you're saying, and they're going to say, well, these officers are putting their lives on the line, and right now with things being so tense, they're more at risk than they ever have been before. So we need measures to protect them while they're out there trying to protect us. And someone might look at this bill and say, it's a buffer zone. It's sort of a halo. It's, it's a way for them to make sure that they can concentrate on what they're doing at the time and they don't have to worry about someone coming up on them or shoving them or shouting in their face. Well, the statute does not address officer safety. The statute addresses the ability of citizens to record what police are doing. And this statute directly aims at making sure these sort of things don't happen in Florida, that this level of accountability is not authorized and is not allowed to be in Florida. Here's the bill, just over one page. To be clear, there's nothing in the text of this bill that mentions recording on cell phones or anything of that nature. The text of the bill says the intent here is to stop individuals who would interfere or provoke an officer as they're performing their legal duty. But as you just heard, opponents like that attorney, Michael Davis, a lot of other folks too, believe that the goal here, that the underlying root of this is to hide misconduct uh, from the public. Very controversial. We'll keep following this one. Matt Nashley. Okay, yeah, interesting stuff there, Mike. Thank you very much. All right. So maybe, maybe there is that possibility that uh, corrupt cops might take advantage of that 30-foot distance and uh, do something stupid, thinking that uh, uh, the individuals uh, who are recording them cannot see. But let's also keep in mind that a lot of these cameras, as well as the cell phone apps that uh, uh, offer the camera feature, they have Zoom. And those Zooms, uh, that Zoom feature is like being a foot or two away. Okay? So I I honestly think that 30 feet is a good thing and um, I don't even think a cop, a good cop, uh, uh, if you're doing things properly, okay, like uh, that one particular uh, individual who calls himself Ironton Audits, okay, I think he's a good guy. He interacts with the officers while they're working and uh, if you've ever watched his videos, damn it, <laughs> the officers, after they're done with the traffic stop, they go to him. They approach him, hey, this is what happened, and so on. That is, to me, respect, okay? Uh, that is respect. Uh, that guy pretty much does his thing the right way. Uh, but uh, all of the frauditors who uh, are just trying to give their subscribers content, and they know the subscribers, uh, they hate law enforcement, again, I say, they want to be a part of the damn scene. They want to start talking bull crap, and they want to humiliate the officer. Talk to the officer as if the, they're beneath them and, uh, uh, you know, all that same BS that these frauditors do. So, again, I think we could all agree that this 30-foot distance is a good thing. Now, let's jump into the video there because, uh, again, I say Joey just uploaded this video which shows his stupidity on why he got arrested. Let's not uh, let's not forget, guys, that uh, he's uh, his last arrest was, what, uh, maybe a month ago. A month ago, okay? If you guys got to watch that video where uh, he was interrupting an officer on a traffic stop and uh, ended up getting arrested. Ended up doing 30 days, okay? Ended up doing 30 days because he couldn't come up with the bail money. 
<laughs> hey, listen to me. Uh, these are uh, frauditors that go out there. Uh, again, I say the whole idea that they're uh, doing it is uh, to make a buck, to make a living. Uh, you know, instead of getting a job or whatever, they feel, oh, this is the easy way of doing it. All I have to give uh, the people is the drama. Go out there, stir people up, and give the subscribers the drama, and they get that YouTube check every uh, month or whatever. Okay, looking for the easy way out, guys. We all know that. Okay, uh, again, couldn't come up. I I don't I forget what the bond was, but he couldn't come up with the money, and um, he ended up doing 30 days. And then the kick in the ass is after the 30 day uh, uh, little stay that he had, the very next day he was putting uh, he was putting in work at the post office. Can you believe that? The very next day of getting out, he was harassing people at the post office. This is truly a dumbass. Let's check out the video and we'll go from there. We're over here at the City of Miami Administration Building. We got construction workers working in the back right here. And we're gonna go inside this building. Bust a little audit real quick. This is a big building. And I'm solo today. Solo today. What's up, man? I need to put my stuff here. Alright guys, this is it. What's up? What's this for? Not to to enter a public building? I don't need ID. I don't need ID to to walk to enter a public building, bro. I don't need a sign in. I don't need a sign in, bro. I don't I'm working on my story. I don't need a sign in a public building. No, what's your name, bro? What's your name? What's your name? I don't need ID to walk in a building, bro. No, just, I'm walking around and taking pictures in public areas, bro. This is a public area, correct? It's not restricted? This is a public area. Okay, that's you it. Upstairs, you need an ID. Okay, okay, fine. I don't need ID here. Okay. Alright, guys. This is the grand opening that it says here. Is it for the building? This is cafeteria. Let's check out the cafeteria, shall we? Oh, this is it. It's not much. Let's go handle business. Aaron's wall over there. All these people. This is the waiting area. All that. What's up? Huh? I'm just walking around public areas, taking a photo. Public areas, take photo. Why is that? Is it restricted? I don't need to sign in to walk to the public area in a public building, bro. What is it? What policy is that? Does that trump the Constitution, bro? I'm just taking pictures in public areas in a building that we pay for, bro. 
What's your name, bro? What's your name? What company you work for? That's the building rules. Building rules? That trumps my rights? That trumps my rights? There's no, there's no, uh, there's no restricted signs, bro. I don't go to restricted areas. It's, so I'm going upstairs. Yeah, I am. I guess I can. Is where does it say restricted here? I don't need a sign in. I don't need to. I don't need to. I don't have to. That's not a law. Is that a law that I have to sign in on that? The building rule that doesn't trump my rights, bro. I'm a journalist and I'm taking pictures of the building and I work on buildings of government buildings and in public and public areas. It's not as simple. It's not that hard. All right, so let me just jump in here and comment on what just came out of Joey's mouth. And uh, uh, this BS about him being a journalist. I mean, if you guys ever looked at this guy, really took a good look at him, oh, my God. Criminals written all over this guy. So, I mean, I just find it hard for him to think that anybody could consider him a journalist. And uh, as we all know, a journalist wouldn't act this way. A journalist would make arrangements beforehand and, uh, you know, communicate with that location. I would like to come over and uh, take video footage and uh, whatever else they would like to do, uh, but they would communicate it beforehand. Give that location the respect. And if these frauditors would learn how to give respect, my God, they would go a lot further than what they're doing now. They're not getting nowhere now, okay? And um, I don't know. These frauditors are always going to continue to think that uh, uh, their rights uh, give them the rights to do whatever they want in any location that's considered public. And I don't think they're going to accomplish anything. As we all know, they're fighting the wrong people. They're going into these locations and fighting the employees that have no authority to change the rules. So they're not going to do shit. This is all being done for content, okay? In my opinion. Because if they really wanted to make changes, they would go to the very top right off the bat and maybe maybe they would uh, modify those rules of no recording uh, or get them taken down completely completely you know what I mean so again we all know that this uh, uh, when they say they're out there trying to make changes uh, we all know that's BS but let's get back to the video I'm going upstairs yeah I'm going I'm going upstairs <clears throat> Are you guys calling for help? Is there, a, is there an issue, bro? There's no rules in that. I know what I'm doing, bro. I don't have to sign in, bro. No, no, I don't have to sign in. I'm going upstairs. Yeah. The floor is closed. Why is that? Lunch time. So you guys closed for lunch? Yes. So I, is this a public area? This is a public area. So that gives me the right to take pictures here. What's your name? Sorry. What's? I'm not giving you so the. So for you to record me. Well, you you work for the public. I'm letting you know that the floor is closed for lunch. Why is that? I'm not allowing anybody on the floor. So I need to go. Can you show me your, 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 like a little policy that you have on that? Evelyn, I'm just walking through public area right here. That's all. <clears throat> you see these? Do you see these doors with the red with the red card thing that you gotta put in there? That that I don't walk into those restricted areas, man. That's all. Did you call somebody? Because I'm going to keep working. Have a nice day.
She's he's calling for nothing. It's crazy. How you doing? Oh, oh this is first floor. Oh. oh, you know what? I think she she caught the police. So. Damn, I should have stayed up there. So. I thought I was going to the fifth floor. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Tired? You tired? You tired? Are you tired? Oh, you're at lunch, so you, you sleeping? You sure, what's your name, bro? Because you were sleeping. <laughs> you wanna give me your name? <laughs> this guy was with his head down. I hate it was a pillow, and that's it. Hey guys, listen. I'm gonna um, wait right here for a little bit because she called somebody. But, uh, how you doing, sir? What's going on? Our understanding pictures are in public areas. That's it of the building. Okay. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Can you sign in at the front? Can you sign in, I don't have to sign in. It's a public building. Can you sign in, please? I don't have to sign in. Does that, that doesn't turn my rights, bro. Come on, I'm just taking pictures, man. What's your name, man? Mm -hmm. oh, there's any people working my story right here. This, this guy wants me to sign in. What's your badge number real quick, man? Hold on one second. I'll, I'll give it to you in a second. Okay, no problem, bro. All right, guys. This is it right here. Jeez, crazy. Is that, is that a law, bro? I don't have to sign in a public building. I'm just taking pictures. Yeah, but you have to sign in. To come you guys are violating my Fourth Amendment, bro. I take. I'm a journalist, bro. I don't need to sign in, bro. No, but when you come mm. here for safety. You what have safety to sign is that? In, what safety is that? Safety for everybody. For everybody. I'm just taking pictures in a public area. That's it. Yes, sir. But you to come into the building, you have to sign in. Show me a law, man. Nah. Show me a law. I don't come here for this. I just come to take pictures and I leave. I'm leaving. Okay. That's it. I don't need to sign in. You should be telling him about this, man. The Fourth Amendment. I don't have to sign in, bro. Follow you where? I'm asking because you take a picture, so I just want to know if you want to follow me. I have to follow you to take no, my pictures? No, 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 I don't have to. Okay. What's your what's your name, bro? Come on, dude. I told you hold on. Can't just tell me? I said hold on. You don't rush me. You work for me, remember that. No, I don't. Why? No? Because you pay taxes? Uh, exactly. Too, so but you're a welfare recipient. Too, so you're I'm a welfare recipient. Oh, I'm I no. pay taxes too. No, no. Your, your taxes come from our taxes, bro. I pay taxes too. But it comes from what money? Where does it come from? You're not walking me outside. I'm not done yet. Wait, are you, all right, you know what? I'll follow you. You want to have a conversation about this in a debate? I'm not, I'm not gonna debate. Come on, man. You know I don't got to sign in. That's violating my rights, bro. My Fourth Amendment, bro. I don't come here for this. <laughs> what do you want me to follow you out the building? I'm not doing it. 
You're dismissed. Have a, have a nice day. You're dismissed. Have a good day. I was about to leave already. I was almost done already, but this is why we do these videos, bro. We do these videos so you guys can respect our rights, man. We got rights in this country, the Constitution. You know that, right? And when you work in public, man, you don't got no expectation of privacy at all. You work for the people. You're out here working for us. And that floor is not closed. So don't even try that. I come here minding my own business, but you started interacting with me on some bullshit ass law that you're trying to make up. It doesn't even, does, that's not gonna happen. I'm almost done. Now you guys got me over here so you guys to become the show on my video. For what? I don't have to sign in a public building. I know my rights. Hey, he's, he's on social media. He does this all the time. Yeah, tell him what's up, homie. Tell him what's up. I know my rights. You guys are violating everybody's privacy walking in a building, Poguto. That's not, that's Fourth Amendment, rights to privacy, bro. And this cop doesn't even know what he's talking about. What are you talking about? You, 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 you should be defending me. I'm not, listen, I didn't even engage a conversation with you other than y'all knew you were about to tell You told me, me over there. I yeah. told you what? You told me, oh, what's going on? Okay. You engaged in me. That's a question. Okay, so you okay. engaged in me. So I'm I just taking pictures and I'm leaving. I, did I, okay, are you done? What's your name? Harris. Uh, all right, that's it. Okay. I'm good. All right. I don't need to go through all this. I don't need to you sign in. Do I don't need to. I don't need to. They're violating my Fourth Amendment rights to privacy. I don't need that, bro. I don't need that. So, can can I finish my tour real quick? I mean, I don't need. I don't even gotta ask, bro. So, who are you calling for help, bro? Your sergeant. Why are you worried about it? Because you're calling somebody. You I'll sit and wait if okay. you are. So wait. Are you, did you? I, I, don't worry about my phone. I already okay, asked so, myself. Okay, I'm just asking. Okay. Like, yeah, you I'm ask questions, I ask questions and too. I'm it and I'm telling okay, you. Okay, that's it. I'm going to finish taking pictures and that's it. You can't go upstairs. Though. What do you mean I can't? No, you can't go upstairs. Why is that? You is it restricted? Yes, it is. Yes, it what is. What does it say? It's restricted. What? It's Stop really acting like this. Bro. I'm not acting like anything. It's not an act. You can't go upstairs. So Listen, if I go upstairs, you refuse, you refuse to sign in, right? I, I, I didn't refuse. refuse. I didn't okay. refuse. Well, can you sign in, please? I, 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 said, please. I, I don't have to. Okay, but you can't go upstairs because okay. it is restricted. Oh, what does it say restricted? Have the mayor's office upstairs. What is it? A whole bunch of other offices. But, man, where does it say restricted, bro? How do I know that? Is it private upstairs? Five two seven two. Five two seven two. Bro, get get your sergeant, bro. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea what you're talking about, bro. Any public accessible areas, I'm allowed to walk in there. She just told me the fourth floor is public air lobby. How was this up? How do I know that? I know my laws, bro. This is not restricted. All right, so let me just jump in here and comment on a couple of things that came out of Joey's mouth. Uh, uh, one that I found funny was uh, he's telling the guard here that he knows the law. He knows the law. And that's funny because, damn it, this guy who supposedly knows the law has been arrested more than twice. So something is wrong there, man. The law is not working for you, guy. Uh, uh, the next thing with the restricted signage, now, mind you, I do understand that signage plays a... Uh, an important part when you uh, go to these locations for the very first time, okay? Uh, you know, it helps that individual know that, hey, this area of uh, the location is off limits and so on now, okay? But let's under also understand that if uh, you have an employee or a security guard that's telling you, hey, uh, this area is off limits, hey, that's enough for me, okay? That's enough for info right there to let me know it's off limit. Don't really need a damn sign uh, verbally. It uh, works the same, okay? Now, uh, you got frauditors like Reyes who likes to play the bull crap that, uh, oh, you're just making it restricted because I have a camera, okay? Now, if you honestly feel that that individual is uh, giving you false information and making it restricted for, for something because it has something to do with you or something you're doing okay you obey it but you take it to their supervisor you take it to the higher up that still doesn't give you the justification of doing what you want to do uh, that's the way i see it i would think most of you would agree with me but let's get back to the video
So what would happen if I go upstairs? What would happen if I go upstairs? Crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, hey, relax. I'm walking this way. Okay. I just want to make sure. All right, I know. Right listen, I'm not. Go, I'm waiting for your supervisor. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm waiting for your supervisor. Okay. Cool. So if I go upstairs, what's gonna happen? Bro, how are you gonna stop me? You want to go upstairs? How are you going to stop me? Go How are you going to stop me? You, you detain me unlawfully. You, you refuse to identify yourself? I don't, I don't have to. Okay. I don't have to. Not in a public building, man. I'm working right now. I'm taking pictures. Of, I, do, I work on stories on government buildings. I don't need to sign in. Not in, not in by going to the public areas. Anything that's public, I'm allowed to. It's a constitutional protected activities, freedom of the press, bro. So let me jump back in here for the last time here where I think most of us noticed that uh, these uh, frauditors are starting to use social media as a weapon. As a weapon. Do you notice when they uh, interact with law enforcement or uh, they're being interacted with? I'm live. I'm letting you know I'm live. You're live on the internet and uh, and so on. I've seen plenty of videos where these frauditors are, uh, are throwing this I'm live at the officer like that officer is supposed to back down or whatever. Now again, I think a lot of us know that uh, uh, frauditors like uh, Reyes with a half a million people watching his damn videos or his live or whatever, uh, not the entire half a million at that time, but uh, uh, they can be used as a weapon. And I know that much uh, The call flooding uh, feature We all know uh, That works to their advantage And so on But uh, again This whole social media thing I never thought it would be uh, Blown out of proportion The way it's being uh, used now uh, That's my opinion uh, But let me also say guys That I truly hope that everyone here Has a great Easter Okay It's good to know that uh, Things are starting to get back to uh, Somewhat get back to normal uh, since this pandemic has come into the picture so again happy easter to all of you guys let me know your thoughts on the video guys and um i'll see you in my next video i'm a what police agitator oh you're the one that that didn't want to identify this is the guy that i'm doing a complaint on over here this guy right here i'm taking pictures in a public area bro Yo, they're trying to arrest me. You good? What's he here for? I don't come here for this, bro. I'm just taking pictures and I'm leaving. That's it. So I heard the word arrest. You guys gonna arrest me unlawfully for being in a public area, taking pictures? 
No? Now you don't want to talk. That's fine. I'll, t- I'll t- keep walking around. And I'll wait. This guy's a big tyrant right there. I have a huge complaint that I did yesterday on him. What's up? He's the guy that moved the car for me. Tell, tell him that what I'm doing. Tell him. Not enough. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm working a store in a building in public areas. That's it. Bro, whatever he's whatever he's telling me to do is unlawful, bro. That's it. I'm just taking pictures in a public area. What's up, Hernandez? Why are you standing so close? I'm just taking pictures here and I had a meltdown. That's it. Are you live streaming? I don't know. Maybe. This music is protected, copyrighted. Look, guys, who's copywriting? Try it. Don't matter. Why would you want to do that, man? Why would you want to do that? I'm just taking pictures and I was leaving. Can you repeat that? Okay. You guys, gentlemen, have a good day, bro. Look, bro. It's Disney News. You kicking me out of the building? I'm just saying the door's out. I know where it's at. I'm just taking pictures, bro. Let me finish taking pictures, man. Come on, man. Don't stand so close to me, bro. I was on my way out. I was on my way out. Oh, shit. I was on my way out. So, you guys are just bullying me out of here. Why are you doing that, bro? Let me finish taking pictures, bro. All right, so have a nice day. You're impeding my way, bro. Come on, man. Bro, look at these tyrants, bro, in Miami. This is why we film, bro. I'm just taking pictures, and they had a meltdown. It's a public building, bro. Okay, you're trying to give me a copyright. It's not going to happen, bro. It's not going to happen. This guy's, this guy's trying to give me a copyright strike, guys. Come on, man. This is, this is, this is, this is a joke, bro. Why are you standing so close to me, bro? For real, stop. You're, you're causing a disturbance. Comply, bro. Stop resisting. Stop resisting and comply, bro, to the First Amendment. I'm just taking pictures, bro. First Amendment applies to me. So applies to who? You're kicking me out of here? You're asking me so I can, I can stay. If you're asking me, I'm allowed to stay. I'm creating a problem. I was on my way out. We got a bunch of people on here watching live, bro. You wanna have a conversation outside? You wanna have a conversation? Let's go. Come on, bro. You're not no, you're not bullying me out of here, bro. Look at these bullies, bro. Bullies, look, look. This is why I film, bro. A huge ass building that we pay for. Stop. Stop. Don't resist. Don't resist. I'm not resisting. Don't resist. Why are you arresting me? Why are you arresting me? This is the supervisor. He is the supervisor. He is the supervisor. You got it? Listen. There you go. This is the secure building. You don't get to do it. What do you have there? Sit him outside. I don't need any more patrol. Give me my freaking phone, bro. Don't turn off my phone, bro. Don't turn off my phone. Yo, you guys.